Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable vibrant visuals for Minecraft Bedrock. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Minecraft Bedrock Preview application. And if you don't have it, you can go to your Minecraft launcher here, which is how you open up Minecraft Java, Bedrock, and Bedrock Preview. And here we see that we are in the tab for Minecraft Bedrock Edition here. So all you want to do here is make sure you are here. If you are, you can go to latest release. You want to click it and then you want to click latest preview. And from there, you want to click play and it will install, download and open up like so. And all you want to do here is simply go to play preview. And once you're here, you want to do create new world. And then you have to do create new world again. And from there, what you want to do is just mess with the settings. So I can get myself creative, for example, that works. And what you want to do mainly to actually activate the option is by going to experiments and activating vibrant visuals. So all you want to do here is click the little toggle here. It will tell you to turn on experiments anyway. Just do that. And now you have enabled it. So all you want to do here is once you have made all the settings you want to change like easy hard whatever give it a name for example you can just do create here it's going to tell you the things that are changed we'll just do create anyway of course and after this we'll be in a playable world so here we are in minecraft bedrock here and we see that we don't have much vibrant visuals and that is normal because you need to enable this in game and the way you enable it is quite simple you have to go on escape, so you want to be on the menu here. From there you want to go to the settings tab here. Now all you want to do is go to video. And from there you actually want to go ahead and scroll down until you see something called fancy here. So you see we see graphics mode and we see fancy and we also see fancy graphics option here. So that's just the options for this specific mode here but if you click it you'll see vibrant visuals so if you click this you'll now have vibrant visuals options and if we leave the game we can see that once everything has rendered we have vibrant visuals enabled and you can do quite a few things of this this is just the default settings for vibrant visuals it looks very ready and it runs fine on its default settings now one thing i noticed with this is Sometimes the cloud might appear red for some reason. That's the only thing I noticed from me playing this. But I also noticed something else that if you want to enable higher settings, you will have to get a really good computer, if not just a glitch. Because what happens is if you go to settings here, oh, you can see the red clouds here. If we go to video and we go ahead and give it some nice and powerful settings, you will notice that this thing becomes a resource hog. Uh, yeah. And when we go here, we basically have like 19 FPS. And it does look better, but it also looks more pixelated. So I don't know about that one, but we do see sometimes the red clouds. That's what I was talking about. But outside of this and the extreme resource heavy for honestly not much differences from the default settings, honestly, I do feel that with more performance and more tweaks maybe this will be a bit more playable but this is what you have for the max settings at least you will need to get quite a good computer to use these but in most cases if you just enable the default settings so if we go back to the bottom also we do have the um, render distance we can probably load that but we can still see it's a bit laggy but if we just add a bit we just add it back to favor visuals and we can go ahead and just give it maybe a bit, a bit more shadow like so we are back to 60 fps so i don't know why it just goes that much but we can see that sometimes we can see some red clouds that's the only issue i have with this is that we have sometimes red clouds but outside of this honestly it looks really cool for minecraft bedrock this is basically shaders for bedrock and yeah that's how vibrant visuals look for minecraft bedrock so that's how the overworld looks at least so we do have different dimensions of course, we have the nether and the ant that we can go ahead and travel to. So let's do that right now and of course we have to go in the water to see how it looks in the water. It looks amazing, so that is one thing of these, is that they do look really good, they're just a bit resource heavy in some cases. 
but all we need to do here is just go ahead and just go to the nether. So let's just get ourselves some flint and steel and just go ahead and go to the nether real quick. We do have some little shadows and everything looks kind of good. Up, oh, there you go. So there you go, that's the portal. And if we go here, we see that it does look extremely good. Except if the shadow is, like the actual fog is not made to be here. But if it is made to be here, it looks completely fine, it looks great. It's just, I don't know if it's actually meant to be like that. Because of how, like, when the characters go here, for example, we can see like a direct sphere where the sh like fog shadow thing just kind of goes away so that is a weird one here but maybe with some tweaks it can look a bit more realistic but outside of that it does look kind of nice as well you know it gives a nice little foggy experience looks great make it makes this dimension a bit harder to see but that still looks pretty cool so that would be the nether and when it comes to the ant we can go ahead and do just that. Let's just get ourselves some Eye of Ender here and go to the end from the nether. So let's that real quick. There you go. The pool looks just like normal and we just get in. And here we are underground. So let's go up. And the ants. Just wait for the sky to load up if there's a sky but yeah so the end is well okay i guess i don't know it is a bit hard to see and sometimes it does just randomly go ahead and just like that's what i mean like if there's a sky because it looks a bit weird sometimes it looks like there's like a thunderstorm sometimes it's a bit of a weird one i have to admit but hey this is the early days for vibrant visuals and of course a lot of glitches to fix but yeah that is the end for you and that's how it looks so you know let's just kill dragon the, oh, well I, I did not enable cheats but that's the that's the idea here just just kill the dragon real quick by enabling our cheats well where's that game there you go activate cheats and let's do this again and this does not enable the portal unlike java does it enable the portal i don't know but yeah so it does enable it so if we go here we go skip we go back to our world the overworld looks fine that's the best looking area there's still the red clouds thing i sometimes think about but yeah you can try out vibrant visuals and try it for yourself and see how it looks and with further minecraft betas and previews there will be better changes to these shaders until they look amazing so yeah in this video i showed you how to enable vibrant visuals for minecraft bedrock so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye